All right, first day back. Wow. Welcome back to Talk It Off, everybody. Season two. Season yeah. two. Now, if you noticed, there's no giant intro this time. Yeah. And I kind of love it more. Yeah, we changed the format completely because we're lazy. <laughs> well, no, no, we're just trimming it. We're just getting yeah, down to bare no. bones. You want the action, and we're giving it to yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. Straight to the point. Down to brass tacks, as, exactly. as they say. Oh, God, I love sitting down at a table and saying, "Let's get down to brass tacks." <laughs> it's a nice thing to say. It's in interesting business. It's interesting to use these directional mics too, instead of like the one that that hangs in front of your face. I wonder yeah. how long I'm gonna like be okay with doing it until yeah. I'm like, I don't want to hold this thing anymore. Yeah. And it's slowly going to be like... <laughs> Dude, episode like two. Down here like, <laughs> yeah, and then so other things happen. There's no way anyone heard that. <laughs> your uh, your living room looks a lot different. Yeah. Yeah, I decided to put it on wheels, shorten it a little bit, make it narrow. Um, I moved the fridge. That was the yeah. biggest move I made. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, we're on tour. We're on right tour now. right now. Yeah, we're in uh, Long Island, New York today. Long Island. It's uh, it's th- we've had a lot of history in Long Island. A lot. Our band literally got signed in Long Island. That's like, true. We were playing the Vibe Lounge, which doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, sad. Um, it was being booked by the same person that booked today's show. It's kind of like a back in time show. It's nice, real intimate. Yeah. Um, that I don't know if that was the show that Charlotte Francesca came out to. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we played a show at Vibe Lounge in Long Island. Do you remember this on Super Bowl Sunday? Yes, dude, and it I was an early I, show, and it was the same. Um, it was the same year that the Green Bay Packers played the Steelers, and I really wanted to see the Green Bay Packers yeah. win it. It's like so two dude, minutes in, we're already talking football. We I went know. to our. I'll, I'll back up, but we went to our friend's Pacini's house, so we're get, apparently going to get to see today. I'm really excited to yeah. see him again. Um, but it was. I remember it snowing outside, and we kept our drinks because it was a little house party. We kept it in the snow. We used a natural cooler yeah, outside. It was dope. That was really fun. Um, that French, the the time that we got signed, I believe, if I'm not mixing it up, that was my first time playing New York with. Set it off, and I believe it was the first sold out set it off show. Yeah, yeah I, think I think our first sold out show was Vibe Lounge. Yeah, it's a lot of history here. Yeah, so I'm excited uh, to do that again. So that's gonna be fun. We're doing that li- in hours, yeah. <laughs> in matter of mere hours. moments, mere moments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. decided yeah. to record the podcast and then go rip a gig. Yeah. yeah. Do you think anybody's done this? Like, uh, I I don't know. Had a nice sit down conversation and then wouldn't headbang for an <laughs> hour and a half. Oh my god! I realize I I as time's gone on, I headbang less. Yeah, well, you kind of have to. Yeah, I don't. I don't get bangovers. If you're not familiar with what a bangover is, it's literally a feeling of pain that you get <laughs> in your skull yeah. from from knocking your brain around so much for 90 minutes. Yeah, the it's next literally day. like it feels like if you were to lift weights, but only in your shoulders. <laughs> and like, dude, you like have the fucking posture like this everywhere you're walking. <laughs> dude, I wonder about that sometimes because they're in the cinematics era. I would I would hit my head as hard as I could with a microphone. Yeah, and I'm I, I'm always like. I oh, didn't do any like damage. No. Yeah, we yeah. Uh, we did play for a while. We were playing um, Nightmare. Yeah. Um, on the Welcome to Elsewhere tour part one. Yeah. As like a nice little throwback. And first of all, for some reason, every song was like, "Let's see how fast we can make yeah. this." One hundred and seventy beats yeah. per minute. Yeah. Like and, every song was. And then live, I just halfway through, I'm like, I don't know where I had the energy ever to <laughs> do one song like this, let alone an entire set. Yeah. I'm sweating by the end of it. Yeah, that yeah. remembers very vividly uh, before. Um, before Cinematics, before uh, Come for the Storm, we had this EP that we recorded on GarageBand. I don't know what made us think this was a good idea to release it. Looking back, yeah. I know there's a lot of people that like, like the songs. It's great, but like you look back <laughs> at your first one, you're like, I could have done better. Yeah. Um, but I remember um, our manager at the time um, was talking to somebody else in the music industry, and they were like, "This person's gonna have no time to breathe." They are like, how are they going to breathe on stage? And they were right, by the way. I couldn't breathe on stage. Yeah, I, there was no, there was no spacing in any of my melodies back yeah. then. You just going as fast as you can. Yeah, dude. For some reason, it was like, all right, as fast and sing as high as you can. <laughs> I was going to say yeah. there was this weird competition between every singer to be like, how high can I hit this note? I'm going to put it into a song, so I then have to do it every single yeah, that's night. That's definitely what I wasn't considering when when writing specifically mm-hmm. Swan Song. Oh yeah. yeah, Swan Song is the highest vocal song I think we've ever written. It's, as far as consistently up there, mm-hmm. and I was just not looking out for future me then. <laughs> no. Now when we play it live, we have to play it down like, <laughs> like nine, a step and a half, yeah. nine octaves. We're like, you don't even bother anymore. Yeah, it's like a whole uh, opera thing now, dude. So a lot has happened since the last time we did the podcast. It's kind of crazy. It's dude. We were wasn't the last time we did it like in August. Yeah, it's yes, been, been a it's minute. Been a, yeah, because well, basically, uh, we elsewhere, had to do all this prep work. Yeah, elsewhere yeah. yeah, <laughs> for this, <laughs> we're gonna do all this prep work for this. But elsewhere's out, so yes, that's very exciting. Oh my god, yeah. But we, the podcast really kind of took a back seat because we had so uh, much going had, on. So yeah, we had music videos to shoot, uh, so much on our plate at yeah. one time. So 
It does feel good to bring it back. Yeah, it feels like it's it's. It, I feel more comfy now. You know what I mean? Like before, if we did it during last time, we would have been just like heads spinning. Like, like oh yeah, like like yeah, it would have been rough. Yeah, we wouldn't. We just wouldn't have had time to like actually focus on it. Not that yeah. this took very much focus. <laughs> if you can see how the camera's set up right now, <laughs> the camera. I'm just gonna give it a little description. Yeah. The camera's base is a is a case of water, like plastic water bottles, uh -huh. and then there's one, two, three, four boxes of white claw that that camera is <laughs> not sitting on <laughs> so we really really took uh took our time to make it as yeah. professional as possible welcome to season two it's worse it's worse <laughs> it's worse now what's cool about uh about this season though is in august uh we hadn't toured yeah. in ages yeah. so um, we had talked about like what's going to happen to the podcast yeah. when we can finally tour again, and this is it. We're yeah. finally here. We finally made it. We kind of um, just like uh, we were going to do it yesterday on our day off, but yeah. then we had so much going on. Like these people were going to dinner and all this stuff, so we we're like, we're going to literally have to do it in the bandwagon tomorrow. Dude, I honestly think that we need to do these on show days because on days off, there's nothing I want to do more than do nothing. No, I, <laughs> definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's like trying to set up to do the podcast on your day off, and the podcast is just going to be like. I don't want to be doing this. I want to, I want to go get dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Quit making me talk, <laughs> dude. I might next next episode tape this cord to the ceiling oh, yeah. and just hands free, <laughs> nice. like you're fucking singing in a vocal booth. Ooh, oh yeah, yeah, like like Sinatra style. Yeah. Ooh, I got a question for y'all. What do you think has changed the most for you? Since the last time we did a podcast episode, oh, oh that's man. interesting. I have yellow hair now. That's probably one of them. Yeah. Did we uh, not? I didn't have. Oh yellow my god! Hair. Yeah, that's I right. I think you had colored hair. I did. I was and trying you, a whole bunch of stuff. Yours was just like blonde. Yeah, I think I was. Yeah, I was. I went platinum. Oh uh, yeah. yes. Platinum. That was that was just me seeing if I could do it. Yeah, <laughs> if I'll I, get if away I would it. like it. Look I did at like my it. Platinum blonde. I did like it. I gotta say, I think the pink, the pink is my favorite of yeah. the colors I've done. It in looks the past. really good. It's my favorite so far. Yeah. Also, we match our shoes with our hair color. Yeah, we uh, do. Well, Max does not though. <laughs> Get some green shoes, dude. Where are your green shoes? It's hard to find good green <laughs> shoes these days. You got any green shoe yeah. fans You're out going there? Going into a Nike and going, do you have any green shoes? <laughs> Leave. Yeah, it's like, you, you freak me out. Yeah. You freak me out. Get out of here. <laughs> um, what, what I need the, your green shoes. <laughs> all of them. One of the, uh, well, I'm sure people with with uh, with like neon hair have also experienced this, but especially when it's the three of us together. We, you, it's it's one of two things. You either get someone going, "Oh my gosh, I love your hair," which is very nice, or people looking like they saw an alien and they're yeah. so Dude, mad. They're I, just staring. Yeah. I told you guys a story yesterday, but I need to bring it up again for the podcast. Yeah. Um, a person audibly scoffed at me when I walked into a store yesterday. I went into I wanted to go grab a, a beer to go with my food, so I walk in and there is this older gentleman, and he he sees me and audibly goes, "Oh." <laughs> And then he walks into the other room while I make my purchase because he doesn't want to stand close to me. Oh, God. Um, uh, to me, like it was... he's like, it's infectious. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm going to get the pink hair. Oh, I got stem. skinny jeans on now. <laughs> oh, What's up? <laughs> what is it about that? Certain areas, you, you dress like you're in a band and it ruins their day. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I guess it's just because it's so foreign to them and they can't, they can't handle change. Okay. Change is a good thing. Change is a great thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting like uh, for a long time. So I never did any like I dude for like 20, 2009 until 2021. I wore black clothing. <laughs> and that's dude, it. I was just thinking about that. My closet was just black clothes yeah. and now it's just and so with, colorful. So with this new cycle, we're going fully colorful. So yeah. I'm wearing like puffy yellow jackets <laughs> and shit. Yeah. Walk into the gas station. I'm like, why is that guy looking at me? And I'm like. <laughs> Oh. You, had a bit, oh. you had a bit for a long time. I'm where a you, highlighter. Yeah. <laughs> you would just buy the same thing 10 times. You're like, yeah, I'm a cartoon character. I yeah. wear the same outfit every single day. <laughs> I wish I could still do that with this. But I oh, mean, you, you, this is definitely an era where you can't repeat outfits as yeah, much. Yeah. It's so no, so much more noticeable. You yeah. wear a black t-shirt every day. No one cares. Well, <laughs> I would get called out for that every now and then. Yeah. You're like, oh, look, Cody's wearing another black t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I definitely uh, need to get more outfits, too. Like, I, It's like too it's kind of fun shopping for this era. I'm not yeah. going to lie. Oh, yeah. I've never had a strategy to shop where I'm like, I filter things by the color pink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what's been really cool is uh, uh, now that we've been playing shows, seeing our fans come elsewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so and cool. And like, almost every day I'm like, hey, can you tell me where you got that? Because yeah. it's sick. Dude, it's, like, this is so funny. So the shirt, the, the sweatshirt I wear in the Skeleton Music video, other people have. I don't own it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> oh yeah, because it's like a Zoomies exclusive. It was from Zoomies, Zoom? and I tried to go buy it, and they don't sell it anymore. So it's like I'm struggling to own something in the video. <laughs> it is really dope so to see the me. kids coming to the shows, like wearing all, all of our outfits and the makeup. And it's like so cool when you see them like combine all of our looks together, and they they each have their own oh, like, yeah. represent representation of you know our makeup. Cool? There was somebody that came to the Portland Maine show uh, that. They had pink hair, but they did your pigtails. That's cool. I thought oh. that was cool. They do like an homage. Not yeah. you, though. Yeah. Not, yeah. You. Yeah. Not, you. Said, not you. Not they you. Not you. Not you. Not you. They're like, fuck <laughs> that guy in VIP. They walked up and they were like, first in line. Fuck you. Not you. Not you. Uh, yeah, we do makeup now. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We also, Which, we also, uh, I got to tell you, way harder than it looks. Yeah. Shout well, out to we, to. we all we all do it differently, and yeah. we all do it at different times. Yes. Yeah, You yeah. do it like. Three hours oh, before we go, I want to get it done, man. That's, that's the joke on the um, that's been happening a lot on tour is that Max, every day he gets his makeup on earlier and earlier. <laughs> so it's like one day, one day it was like an hour before, and then it was two hours before, and then we were talking that he's gonna wake up in his bunk with the makeup on. <laughs> It's like nine in the morning. He's like eating cereal yeah. with it on. He's we're gonna like, be at our off day in Albany, and we're gonna walk in. You're gonna be in the bathroom preparing <laughs> yeah. for the show the next day. <laughs> I have this thing, and it's it's not just for makeup, but there's like certain tasks that if I don't get it done immediately, yeah. I can't do anything else. Like I'm, yeah, I've it's noticed debilitating. Yeah. I've noticed that about you for yeah. sure. It's like you, whenever you have something on your plate, you have to get it off. Your Absolutely, plate. yeah. Like, like uh, posters, well, posters. Oh yeah. So, so we yeah. sign posters for VIP. Like um, we, basically, we have like our own personality of yeah. how we sign posters. <laughs> so we have to get them. We have to get them done. And whenever they come into the wagon, it's like you have this many to sign for this amount of people or whatever. Max will just sign the whole entire box, the whole box, which, which it takes then, a long time. Yeah, yeah, which yeah, probably like an hour or yeah, so. something like that. And yeah. then I'll watch him do that and think the entire time, oh, I should be signing those. I should be signing those. <laughs> yeah. I should be signing those. And then it takes me like forty-five minutes of him, and then I'll sign them. And then Cody, you just never. <laughs> 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 you sign. You sign them, dude. I want. It's like the. It's like how much? What's the least amount of time I can yeah. wait until I have to get yeah. it done. Yeah. Moments yeah. before we're yeah, supposed yeah. to use it's them. Like, yeah. Oh god! Yeah, yeah. it's crazy that you, you'll be like, "How many are? How many are today?" And they'll be like, "Oh, like a hundred or something." And you'll be like, "Okay, I, I'm I'll just sign gonna, what I think is a hundred. <laughs> Here we go." I don't like because I guess it feels so low pressure when I do it like that. I yeah. don't feel like it, it doesn't feel like a big task. Yeah, you've also yeah. gotten a little bit better about uh, waking up earlier. Oh yeah, like, back not in today. The, yeah, <laughs> not, not today. But back in the day, like when we when like I don't know, uh, maybe before the pandemic, you would yeah, we oh, would definitely. do we would you would start your day with VIP. Like you would yeah. wake up and then go to <laughs> that VIP. That would be the first thing I did that's, before not breakfast. Yeah, that's crazy <laughs> to me because when I wake up, I need like a full hour of yeah. silence. Of yeah. like that's definitely like, changed for me since since last touring is like just trying to feel more like a person on yeah. tour. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Every I, I know there's like a, a set period of time when each of us wake up that you shouldn't talk to that person because there's nothing worse than when you get up and they're like, oh hey bud, good yeah. sleep. So Zach, yeah. I don't oh, know yeah. if you see this. People this hit is, you with a good yeah. morning. This is this is Zach. This is Zach every morning. <laughs> yeah. And then <laughs> opens the fridge. Red Bull. Red, Red Bull. And then until he's finished that Red Bull, I don't speak to him. Yeah, that's his. Don't talk to him until I've had my coffee. Yeah. yeah oh, 100 percent is too. Yeah, and yeah. I don't. And then, dude, I started my morning off so rough yesterday because I'm like waking up. I get out of my bunk and my boxers had slipped down past, oh. and so my butt was out. And then, so the first thing that Whole happens, ass was out. First, the, the, okay, you didn't have to say it like that. Uh, but the, so the first thing that happens is Cody's like. <laughs> And I'm like, bro, I just woke up. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It was so funny to me. I've never been mooned so hard in so long. I just thought it was the funniest thing ever. Yeah, I am not a morning person at all. Yeah, I I don't know what I am. I am I'm, I, I think I change every day. When yeah. you get up, you, you don't seem like grumpy, but nah. you don't wake up in the morning, so... I well, When I wake up, I spend a lot of time just, like, on my phone, mm -hmm. and that's my, like, buffer period before I start the day. I'm like... I've noticed, like, you know, like, when you wake up and your eyes, like, just aren't settled on anything? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, everything's blurry, and then I look at my phone, and then eventually that goes away, and I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm ready to start my day. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I just I need def some definite time. Oh, we started a fan club. I forgot. Yeah, I wrote yeah. that, I wrote Super that down. Super excited about, about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've yeah. been talking about doing the fan club for legitimately years. We had a version of it a while ago, and just to kind of had a falling out with the company. Not like a, a really terrible one or anything. But yeah, just, and, it, just and we were more. Yeah, we yeah. weren't able to be like hands on with it. They yeah. they like had a lot of control of it. We were like, fuck, we can't really. We all we can do is really send messages. We've always like, been really DIY with every decision we make, though. Yeah. Like like if we if we feel like we can do 
do it, we want to do it. Yeah, and yeah. And so that's how this thing came to be. We've been working on it for, I feel like over a year. Yeah. We were trying to put this thing together. Yeah. So it's our little baby, and we're really proud of it. I mean, we're still definitely working on it. We're still definitely trying to make it, you know. Tons of content. Tons of content. Trying to make it as best as we can. It's just, yeah. you know, trying to figure out what the plan is yeah. for all that. Well, one of the cool things about, you know, what we've done throughout the years is it's not just music. Because we have, we have enough songs that we haven't released that there could essentially get, like, three or four new albums over the course of yeah. however many oh, years yeah. of demos. But then we also have the podcast. We yeah. also have done YouTube videos in the past. Yeah, yeah. So it's like this melting pot of just kind of everything that makes Set It Off, Set It Off. Yeah. yeah. And we needed the platform to make those things. And exactly. now it can all be in one place, yeah. easy to see. It's going to be really, really yeah. cool. So and new stuff. Maybe we could try new stuff. Yeah. 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 I'm excited. I'm excited about what the potential is for this thing. Like, it's just possibilities are endless. And if you have gotten our uh, fan club, really, Shout really out. appreciate it. That's fucking awesome. Thank we're, you very much. We're very stoked. Hopefully uh, we can get more and do more with it. And feel ASAP. free, if you're already a part of it in the forum, request if there's things yeah. you want to see. Yeah. Like, let us know. We're, we're here to we're here to help. So That's some um, stuff that we wanted to uh, talk about on the podcast is like um, some stuff, some topics that they have yeah. submitted to the forum and things I, that we I can still, talk about. I, now that I talk about it, I feel like it's going to have to happen, but what? we need to get ourselves like a, a phone number and do live call-ins. Yeah, yeah it's going to be hard to, because we are probably not going to film these at the same mm-hmm. time. Every yeah. Day. We don't well, have to get logistics. I like we'll doing, we're playing right now. I like right uh, now. mailbag stuff. That's always yeah. fun. Yeah, I, I agree. Leaving messages and then yeah, we can and answer well, the questions. Well, well, we have the, we get fan gifts a lot and if we did the mailbox like we did before, like at our, at our merch table where people could leave, we could open some of those letters on the podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just meant like questions, but that that's oh, even yeah, a better yeah, idea. Yeah, That's too. great. Dude, I want, uh, one of my favorite fan gifts we've gotten on this tour is, so there's been, there's been this ongoing joke about getting worms. Like the, like the little fuzzy worms, tiny ones. Somebody handmade a giant worm. Yeah. Yeah. We got three of them, each for our colors. Yeah, you're Pink, yellow, and green. That's me right here with the googly Bob, eyes. Can you throw us that? Google eyes. Thank you. I'm actually going to wear Whoa, like a scarf. Is that Bobby. one green? Dude, yeah, yeah, here. Look at these. If you're not watching on, on the tube, you're not seeing it. But God, just the, just marvel at how amazing these it's look. It's so well made. And it's yeah. soft. It's very It's soft. like a it's stuffed animal soft. worm. Like you would sleep with this. Yeah, yeah. I know. Can you imagine giving this to like a little mm-hmm. kid? Like you sleep yeah. with this worm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah there was a... You enjoy uh, this worm. It was one of the first shows back um, and we were doing VIP, just saying hello to everyone. And someone gave us a bag of tiny plastic babies. And I was like, we're back. Oh, we're wow. officially yeah. back we on tour now. We each got a bag of the plastic babies. Yeah. That's how you know. I think that same fan has brought us bags of babies a bunch of There's times. There's a factory out there that yeah. produces <laughs> bags of tiny babies, yeah. Yeah. plastic babies. I wish babies. we had them to show people what, what we're talking about. Yeah, they're I, somewhere in here. I asked a question about it, and I think I freaked them out. I was like, what do you think these are for? Because <laughs> <laughs> like my guess is that it's for like cupcakes for Mardi Gras. Yeah, yeah. king like, cake. Don't they put babies in cake yeah. in New Orleans? They have, I think I learned about that in elementary school. Yeah. Oh. And I think I accidentally bit into a baby. In the Seems cake. dangerous, oh. right? Yeah. yeah. Like you're going to eat plastic? Yeah. Oh, dangerous. We could talk about dangerous. Woke up feeling dangerous. What a segue. Dude, Dude, dangerous has been going. Dude, it's nuts. So, yeah. we just got word that dangerous is going to be used for WWE Backlash. Woo! And what we heard is that it's going to be the theme song for it. Yeah. So That's the rumor. There was that. It, uh, uh, dangerous was used for the PGA, which we, was, we were happy it was used. We were like, yeah. D- golf isn't that dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> also, but you've been so you started playing Mario Golf, so it's all oh, about dude, it. Oh, dude, I love Mario Golf yeah. now. But let's stay on. Oh, yeah, yeah. So but there was that. <laughs> I was about, dude. You saw it. I was about I to know, go down that path now. Like, you know uh, what I hate about Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, it got used for that. It was in March Madness. Uh, no, March Madness was who's in control. Yeah, Because yeah. I think it was oh. good. Like the reason is like a who's in control oh, of yeah, the yeah, bracket. Yeah, like yeah, who's yeah. gonna win. Uh, and then, so it's really cool. Like we're getting sinks, which yeah. that's what it's called. If you haven't heard that term before, it's definitely a uh, industry first, term. A little insider a little, uh, tip. A little it's, tidbit. It's not. It's not the first time it's happened in our career, but it is the first time it's been this consistent. It's been very consistent, very frequent. It's really cool, man. Yeah, and it's it's dope to see it happening and like getting. I mean, we were at dinner with our manager when we found out that we got the WWE. Yeah, thing, and it felt like a fucking documentary behind the scenes. Max has like, wanted this to happen for so long. Yeah. Oh yeah, I You've feel been a big WWE. Other I'm than more excited about w- how you're w- excited. WWE. W W. <laughs> yeah, I mean, with uh, I mean, music has always been the thing that I loved and wanted to do, but like wrestling was always right there. Yeah, from yeah, this, yeah. about the same age was yeah. when I started getting into wrestling, and I don't know if you could tell, I don't exactly have the wrestler build, yeah. so it wasn't you really even an option for me. May, I mean, it's a lot, you know, they, they, some of the stuff they do is absolutely insane. Yeah, so, um, but it's always like been my second love, um, and so having an opportunity for those two to intersect is like mind blowing to have, me. Like, Dangerous wrestling matches 
in like with your friends? Oh, all the time. Dude, it's yeah. so hard not to when you're a kid growing up. Yeah. There's that whole thing before before every show that says do not try this at home and every, every single yeah. person has tried it at the home. The only yeah. one I wouldn't do like like when when Jackass was 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 a thing. I, they were like don't do this. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The one with like uh pushing in the shopping cart and smashing like, I, had pe- I knew people that would do that. I'm like, yeah. this is insane. I wouldn't do that shit. They're either. getting paid to do this. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay a pretty penny too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's really cool, man. It's been really awesome to see the reception to this album. Just seeing like what songs people are liking the most. Like uh, we got some cool uh fan art today of Magic 8. I did not expect that song to take off the way it did for yeah. our fans. Yeah. yeah. Apparently Somebody Cordial on... is getting a lot of love too. Oh, yeah. I love that one. Yeah. Somebody on TikTok made a they did a Magic 8 of their classroom, their teacher, and yeah, they had their had whole our... classroom so cool. sing Magic 8. That is the coolest thing ever. Just the magic gate until it breaks, breaks, breaks. Yeah, you get you it. You know how it goes. <laughs> you know it. Yeah, it's exciting to see. Um, I know that this happens before every album, but we were so nervous before it came out. Like, are people going to be receptive yeah. to this? And not only the music, but also how it looked. It was a, a big shift for us. But so much time had passed, and it was, you know, lockdown. So it felt even longer than that. So we, yeah. we felt like we... You know, we we grew during this time, and, yeah. and we didn't know. We we're like, if we've been gone for so long, the world has changed. Yeah, but the reception has been it's been great. better than I could have expected. Yeah, Absolutely, yeah. it's definitely our biggest release so far, and it's it's been cool to watch it grow. Dude, I, you know what I'm excited for? Another another little segue here. Uh, we're about to go on this simple simple plan. Some forty one blame Canada tour. I'm yeah. excited to play this for people that aren't familiar with us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm really excited. And that's for a little that. bucket list thing for you as oh, well. Oh, right? definitely. Some forty one has yes. been like they've been your favorite for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I would say grown. They're like one, the one of the main reasons why I even play music. Uh, yeah, that's so I'm really way. I'm really excited to tour with them and like be in the same venues with them every single day. And they're playing the album that got me into them, All Killer No Filler. Yeah, they're playing that top to bottom. I cannot wait. To see in too deep, yeah. Live. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. They're I, I know that their set list is gonna smash. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna it, be incredible. It's gonna be a really long tour of me watching Sum Forty One every single day. And I'm also excited to tour with Simple Plan again. They're yeah. great touring mates. Yeah, yeah they're really fun. We've, and their tour manager little, Danny Vance. Yeah, is great he, guy. Is he TM? He's he's on the tour. Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, so we uh we uh have to, this will be our third tour with Simple Plan. Will right? it really? Yeah. Yes. Because wow. we did. Uh, I love it. We did their anniversary of the no pads, no helmets, no. Isn't this another balls. anniversary tour? Uh, I think they're just doing it again because some forty one. Oh, doing it. okay. I yeah, thought it was yeah. a, like a second album anniversary. No, I think or it's like a nostalgic type of tour. Oh, okay, thing. cool. But it's really dope because so many people love those albums. Oh, and yes. Not only just from previous generations. We're gonna show up like no, 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 no. Yeah. No, we're not here for this. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. Uh, you, the, let's just. You're let's not just, fat lip. Yeah. <laughs> let's just get to some forty one and simple yeah, plan now. Yeah. Oh my god, it's gonna be a really good time. We're that's only six shows away. Oh. Oh yeah. Isn't that nuts? Wow. Including today, six shows, and we're on that tour. Yeah, we've been on tour for like oh, two weeks. Now? I don't know. Actually, we have the list right up here. Two weeks. It's, Our it's first been a... show was no, on chance. April fifteenth. No. No, it was not. It was on April thirteenth. Yeah. So... And what day is it today? The twentieth. Wow. Yeah, look at you that. Look at that. Uh, so we have twenty uh, first. Twenty first. It's the twenty first. Bobby today. off oh. off camera is trying to correct Cody. Yeah. Um, oh, thanks, man. Our unofficial yeah. producer. <laughs> yeah, our unofficial producer is trying to correct Cody right now. <laughs> you'll you'll never see. I love Bobby. the idea of unofficial producer. He's literally playing Nintendo Switch right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's unofficial. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Four. We talk about Mario Golf. It's a lot no. of fun. Oh no, no, we're not going to talk about Mario Golf. <laughs> Let's talk there about, about there Morbius. Oh. We're about to see it. So here's the thing: we're going to go see Morbius on our next off day. I've heard so many bad things about it. I, yeah. But then today, our friend Tom said he fucking loved it. He loved it. Yes. Yeah. And then his friend loved is said, what he said. He said he loved it. He he looked me in the eyes and he said, "Cody, I loved it." And I was like, "That's not what I've heard anybody else say." <laughs> I like that he looked you in the eyes yes. to say it. He no, he really did though. He was like, yeah. "I loved it." Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "You're like trying to." <laughs> but then, but then, uh, the other one around in the conversation was saying it was terrible. I've heard it's just boring, but I'm yeah, gonna see it because I like Marvel. Ironically, though, like, no, I feel like people are gonna, people will say that they like uh, Morbius, he, like to hate what to hate like it. Yes, maybe yeah. that happens a lot. I didn't feel the same way about Sonic. I know that Ooh, I might be alone yeah. in that, and that's no, no, controversial like to say. That. I didn't love well, Sonic Two. To be too. fair, Sonic it's not Two for us. is not for us. It's it a is a movie. children's movie. It's for yeah. it's for children. It is for children. Some people are listening to this and be like, "It yeah. is not for kids." Yeah. No, it, it, and and I and I don't mean like, oh yeah, it's like it's like how Marvel is for kids. It's for children. Yeah, it's like it had campy jokes, and it's, that's the thing that you have to learn to like 
get over when you're yeah. watching movies as like as in, like you realize okay that joke isn't for me yeah. this moment isn't for me and yeah. that's fine there's a couple there's a weird thing that I'm having where it, it seems like movies and internet culture are starting to kind of coincide because there's obviously like Sonic is the source of a lot of memes and so to that you oh, I thought you did that in the mic it would have been so nice <laughs> oh I should have done it um, oh damn it and there there were a lot of those and I don't know how I feel about it like it, I don't know if I like it or not it kind of takes me out of it when he's like gotta go fast and you're like oh you did that because of the internet yeah, at okay. least there was a lot less uh, Olive Garden shout outs yeah. right. they did still have one they had yeah. one I think they did it just to, for the Dude, joke but I don't know if I'm going insane but I remember watching it and they're being like a whole. They, they said the phrase, "When you're here, you're family." Yeah. In the first Sonic, I think they and then did. I saw it again, and it wasn't in the movie. Uh, did they cut that? Cut? No, that? no, no, no. They did not cut that. Cut that. No, they <laughs> kept it in. Yeah. But uh, I think it's um, like they. It's just maybe not as blatant as we remember it. You know. Uh, okay. But I think it is pretty blatant still. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I guess well, I guess we should say that yeah, we're, we're doing gonna... uh, like a shorter yeah. version of the podcast. I think it's better that way. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So we're just trying to do a quick ripper, and we're coming up on the time right now. So we're going to try and keep these under a half an hour or close to a half an hour, and see how they feel. And yeah. Then maybe Let us we'll know what you think. More. Just giving you a, a good old, good old quick episode of the talk yeah. it yeah. off. Please give us some suggestions. Please give us some structure. Yeah. And please put worms in your brain. Yeah, and put them in there. Put and the worms in your brain. We're, I think we're going to sign off. It's time to sign off. Okay. See you later. We haven't planned this at all. So how are we going to um, do? Here we go. We're, we're going to sing the official <laughs> signing off song. All right. Here, here we, we go. go. And. One, One, two, three, four. It's time to sign off. Thank, Thank you, you so much for listening to the podcast. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mac, should, end it. I love that. We should make a new sign off song every time. <laughs> All right, let's listen to the audio.